Hello fam, how are you doing tonight? Yes, going around making my videos, trying to post them at certain times of the day. Instead of throwing them all back to back to back. But I can't still do that. Because um, I had a lot on my mind, I had a lot to say. But uh, Oprah going around here lying. Oprah going around here lying, talking about that's her hair. She grew that hair with this secret oil or something to that degree. And I was like... Oh, but why don't you stop lying? Just because you got a nice figure back in your 60s, uh, you're going to blame it on total, um, what is that, some kind of moisturizer she puts in the hair and just grows, grows, grows. And I'm like, uh, oh, come on now. Sit your ass down. Sit it on down. Cause ain't nobody believing that shit now. I believe and I trust and I am loyal to the ones that tell you the truth about the situation. But it just don't seem like it hit home with you going around here talking about, oh, this is my natural hair. And then, because it was from, what, uh, what is the guy's name? Oh, uh, heck, got hit by Will Smith. Chris, is it Chris, uh, Chris Rock? And he, when he did that little, um, like, drive around the country to see how black folks do their hair and how white folks do their hair. And what's the problem? Why does it, the white woman hair always come looking out, you know, fly, bouncy and all that. But the black women, you know, they have to find things that works best for their hair. And then when they get it going, sometimes they even take the, meta, uh, they take the particular oils you were using from their shop. Because they want us to look fly. But anyway, I don't know if this really is a is Oprah. Might be somebody else acting as Oprah or giving you that Oprah feel. Um, and like I said, she's just making sure she tells the public as well. Um, this is a safe type of thing. Um, you should get into it and, um, you'll really like the product. So she was advertising for this lady or this lady is Oprah and a younger stage, uh, Oprah still owns it. Okay. That's all bad we can, that's all we can say is happening in this video. But I think it's piss poor. You're going to tell us one thing, like, example, giving you an example. She said that um, she wanted to tell everybody that that wasn't her hair. And hell, Fantasia, they're cussing, out, cussing people out too. She said, where are the lamb chops? Where are the lamb chops? And with that, I'm like, where's the bread? Where are the vegetables? Where are the wine or soda to drink? You know, what, what's going on? And Oprah is one of the producers of the show. But I guess she got so tired of Oprah doing her shit, messing them up, not giving them, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> a security team. She didn't get them uh, a personal driver. Because um, they could have all read in one uh, limousine and brought them to the set. But Oprah rented cars for them, and I mean the economical cars, not the sharp ones, okay? And, you know, after them working a 12 to 16 hour shift on a, on a day or every day, that's a lot to be telling on somebody you want to drive, because hey, the only thing you want to do is get in that Uber, excuse me, and get in that Uber type, um, what do you call it, driving thing or whatever. It's almost like having a taxi. And you weigh them down, or you can call for one. That's what the Uber is all about. And it's supposed to be knowing somebody that knows the city all around town, got a good uh, driving record, and, you know, insurance on the vehicle. But they were mad about that. And I guess um, Taraji, in her downtime, she went to go talk to Fantasia about it because it seems like Fantasia is the only person she can talk to that really understands how she feels. Because I'm telling you, um, when they started this mess, everybody had their own calls, not calls, but uh, limousine services. And once Oprah come in and try to say something about, you know, what is going on, who's making this movie a flop, I can tell you, you shouldn't have remade it. You should not have remade it. You could have made another uh, box office hit. So I think Miss Alice Walker is the um, author of The Color Purple. I think she passed already, y'all. Did she pass already? Because I went to school with one of her nieces on her mother's side. And damn right, she was smart as hell. And she started getting into a more feminine side when she got in 11th and 12th grade. So I'm telling you, body, brains, beautiful. <laughs> it's the triple threat of it all. Her name used to be, what was her name? Kiara? 
Shoot, I think I got a girl name. Maybe I will after I'm off, and I'll include it in that video. But, doggone it, what was that child's name? Okay, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, this is with Taraji. I don't know why Taraji feels she needs to save the world. Totally, she needs to be looking at her bank account, looking at how much she needs to spend each month, and let it go from there. Because everybody gets to defend themselves on what they did in that one season of, of showing um, on that television program. But since they were making a movie, um, you know, Taraji could have went to everybody that was on the uh, set that uh, were closely related to what she was being uh, asked to do. You know, go and get your actors. Go and get your other actresses. And y'all talk amongst yourselves because we already know one person or two will go back and tell Oprah what is going on and what they plan on doing. It's just a circle of life. People don't want to look in their lane and grow their own grass, water their own grass, and it's gonna it's gonna do what make it's gonna do what it makes it do. But nine times out of ten, if you take care of whatever you got at home and take care of, everything should be fine. But see, these doggish ass men, they don't flip the script, okay? They want you to have everything that's possible so you can take care of them. That's not what the Lord had um, visualized and implemented with the man's uh, duties and responsibilities he was supposed to uphill and what the woman's supposed to do to help, you know, uh, the husband out. But, child, honey, a lot of people have brought up Oprah Warren's and sends to Roger P. Henson for Color Purple flopping. No, Color Purple was dead and done, and we should have left it alone. But you keep trying to install these other um, excerpts into her book to where that's probably not what um, Alice Walker wanted you to do in the first place. You know, when a, key, when a person that's key in the industry, they don't want you to hurt yourself if that's the way of you verbalizing or singing amongst a crowd or even in a 